Hello again, Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, back with more War Machine, and this time one of the original units for Signar, the Long Gunners, or Long Gunner Infantry now, with Command Attachment, Golden Skin 09092. So, one of the most iconic and also basic units that Signar has. The Long Gunners are, uh, their rank and file. They are terrible at hand to hand, but they do have a sword. Their main weapon, though, is a repeating long rifle, which long range, average power, and if they forfeit movement, they get to take a second shot. Well, this uh, will be with their command attachment, which, per usual, grants some extra abilities. But most Signoran soldiers start out as a long gunner and then may tr end up transferring to other divisions like the Trenchers or the Storm, or the, uh, Storm Knights, depending on their capability. So I'm going to uh, now apply this to the rest. Wait on a minute. Now I gotta play around without lighting some more. I'm still having focus issues. All right, next Templar Blue zero nine zero six. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, Templar Blue. I'm hoping I got enough to do this. focus things keep playing around with the lighting and settings until I get it right so the last uh, the silver line the silver line storm guard got pretty bad but just keep trying all right now it's just going on the denim pants apply to the rest and back when it's dry Okay, zero nine zero three five olive green. Need a fair bit of this. This is going on the coats. This is the second unit of storm guard, not storm guard, of long gunners I have. So the first one was khaki coats. So I'm doing a variant so I can quickly tell them apart. I'm going pretty rough at first and then refining, so we'll be adding other colors in as I go. Working from the lowest part of the model to the highest, and I'm deliberately skipping the shoulders as much as I can because those are definitely covered in armor. Yep, yeah, sword on the back. They have them. It's a backup weapon for them, so they can do something in melee, unlike, say, Bile Thralls that don't have a melee weapon. And it's better than nothing. They don't want to get into close combat. They want to hang back and shoot things with their repeating long rifles. But, you know, in the game, <laughs> You don't always get what you want. Okay. Let's see here. A little more there on the bottom. And that's pretty good. I'll apply that to the rest and move on. Alright, next, Fur Brown. Now, while this kind of green is normally associated with the Mercenaries faction, as opposed to being part of uh, Asheth Magnus's Kingmaker army, I see these uh, longers more as 
troopers assigned to the Thornwood and other heavily forested areas where this would serve as camouflage. So, this is going on leather like the goggles, which is a mainstay of a lot of Iron Kingdom's models. And pouches and belts. <laughs> Scabbards for the swords, which the uh, standard bearer, I believe he's got a sword, but he does not have a weapon. Part of the command attachment standard bearers actually increase command range, letting your troops spread out a little more. But they rarely have uh, weapons of their own. And then the big one here is going to be the boots. which I may decide to pick out that knee pad and the color for the armor. Long Gunners do not have a whole lot of armor. They're kind of average on defense too, but uh, their big thing is uh, shooting things at range, so... They're more about getting in a first strike because of their extreme range more than anything else. And it's something they're really good at. Okay. Apply that to the rest and move on. Okay, next, Shield Brown 09161. This is going to go on the uh, wooden stocks of the rifles as well as about half of the hair. So. If I can get a grip on my brush anyway. some other uh, colors on the stock as well, but we'll do the butt there and the grip up front that this particular sculpt is just kind of holding. Make sure I get a nice uh, solid coverage there. Alright. Apply to the rest of the rifles and about half the hair, and then I'll move on. Okay, wood, the wood and half the hair is painted, so now I'm going to take a little uniform gray and do the rock with the unit leader, the normal one is standing on. Now that is not mixed well. Let's try that again. So this is uniform gray and army painter one. I was starting to switch over to the Army Painter brand, but I'm finding I'm not as satisfied with it as a Reaper Master series. And I was doing the switch because uh, no one locally was carrying the Reaper, so I'm going to have to just go online to buy paint until, until that uh, changes, so, if it ever does, so it is what it is. And now, blonde hair, 09257. 
Uh oh. All right, there we go. So I have literally done half the unit with brown hair, I'll do the other half with uh, blonde hair. And as far as my decision on which exact models to give which hair color to, the leader's got a bit of a mustache. I basically looked at uh, how I did my first unit while that paint was crying and uh, basically reversed on the models. And I uh, got a bit of a weed widow's peak here, so I'll just use a little water to dilute that and uh, soak up. There we go. All right, get the hair on the rest of the models, and then I, I think we just got like three, two or three colors left. And now my focus decides to go bad. Fix it eventually. I'll figure out. I will figure out how to fix this. Okay, is this recording? All right. <sighs> the joys of technical difficulties strike again. All right, ultramarine blue. And this is going to go on the hard plates of the armor as well as the banner. I think I'll start with the armor, so a bit under the neck. That is a little too thick. Just try to pick some of that up. There we go. And this bit right here. Coat the shoulders now. So not a whole lot of armor on the long gunners. Back there. Stats all around are pretty average. I think there are 13 defense, 13 armor. We're at 5, which not the best, but uh, kind of ho-hum. But and then again, they want to be forfeiting movement to aim to get their second shot and focus on combined ranged attacks when they need to. So... That kind of works out for him overall. And they are kind of the rookie level uh, Signar troops. Uh, just because they're uh, rookie doesn't mean they're weak, because again, to uh, I think range 14 power 10s, unless they've changed in a CID that I missed. Per model, that's nothing to sneeze at. At a rat 5, 7, 4, we can take the second shot with the option of CRA against hard targets. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Apply that to the rest and then uh, do some other things. Okay, things are dry enough to move on. Plate mail metal. And I'm going to work on two models here. Just because the uh, standard bearer has a few things that stand out just to him. First off, we're going to get a little bit in the goggles. And get my head out of my light. And get the flagpole. Just a spot here. Then I'll get the uh, 
Mm, I might need to touch up his hand a bit. But the uh, sort of parts of it. Okay. I'm just grabbing a different model at more random. Goggles again. That plate on the stock of the rifle. Hold the grip of the sword. Which looks a bit more like a big knife than a sword in their hands, but uh, at least compared to what some of the other models use, but so then again, it's not really uh, their thing. So, another thing about the repeating long rifle is like a more modern firearm, it has a removable ammo wheel similar to a modern magazine. I believe it's supposed to have five shots. War Machine doesn't track it, but the Iron Kingdom's RPG does. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I think that's got it. I think I only have one base coat left, so let's get this applied to the rest, and uh, I can wrap up that and start shading soon. All right, last base coat. Antique Gold 09050. It's going to go on uh, scabbards. This is, I think I'm using that word right. And for the standard itself, the capital. That uh, got a little out of hand there. The fringe. the iconography. While the uh, sort of fluttering grouping looks nice, it's also a little trickier to paint, but that's fine. Crossed, uh, looks like a pair of crossed rifles. No. Is there a pair of crossed rifles or a rifle crossed with a sword? I think it's crossed rifles. Okay, and that's base coat. Apply to the rest, and when this is dry, I can start shading. All right, time to shade. Ancient bronze zero nine zero four nine. Thinning with one part water to one part paint, diluting it into a wash. Need to find an appropriate, need to get a grip on an appropriate brush. There we go. Need to be careful about doing adjacent colors because this will bleed into each other. There are paint schemes where that will work for you and you'll want to do that, and there are paint schemes where that won't work for you. So just bear that in mind. Okay, that's got it for the uh, officer. Gonna let that dry, uh, apply to the rest, and see if I can do another one. 
All right. Black and Steel, 09205. With your base coat, you want to work from the lowest area to the highest. Shade, highest area to lowest. And highlighting lowest to highest again. Yeah, boy, stuff's falling around behind me. Don't worry about it. Carefully dip into the lenses. The sword hilt there. Not too much of this. And then the metal on the repeating long gun. Or rifle. It's, I think I've seen it go by both names. A few names have been changed over the years. Both on weapons and on uh, models. Uh, uh, apply that to the rest and uh, move on. This is going to be a pretty good call. Next, Ultramarine Shadow 09187. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Where's my brush? There's my brush. This doesn't go too wild, but this brush, I'm gonna have to use a different brush on the rest of them. This one's getting a little too feathered. Just gonna put on the armor and the banner. So <clears throat> let that dry and move on. Okay, Ruddy Leather 09109. Yeah, I need to do this one first. Very carefully get the uh All right, this one's gonna be super awkward. All right, getting equipment straps and bags. of the scabbard. Okay. Apply to the rest, I'm getting there. Okay. Woodstain Brown, 09160. This will shade the uh, brown hair. And the wooden pieces of the rifles. Okay. Apply to the rest and uh, 
Okay, so that focus for a sec. Stormy Gray, 09088. I'm gonna get the leader model's rock first. There we go. Now Blonde Shadow, 09256. Thin that out and get the hair on him and the other blondes. Start with his little mus. Well, maybe not. Now it kind of works. That mustache is so thin. It's tricky to shade in the first place. So there we go. There goes hair. Shade the rest of the blondes. And then it's going to be, uh, let's see, the coat, the denim, and the skin tone. So just about done. All right. One of the big ones now. Muddy Olive 09034. these shades into a wash. In most cases one part water to one part paint. Working in sections here. The shading generally goes a lot quicker than the base coating does. Using the entire side of the brush, not just the tip. Okay, apply that to the rest. When it's dry, I should be able to hit the last two shades simultaneously. Alright, things are dry enough. Where is it? Real and Blue 09055. Okay, that is really clogged up, so I'll take a piece of rod and just get it down the nozzle and clear it. I'll try this again. And there we are. That should be plenty. Let's go over the denim. And apply to the rest. Alright, last shade. Golden Shadow 09091. not all that much of this.
pieces. And the hands. I've got a bit much there. I caught it with the uh, bolt on the rifle. And that is it. Apply to the rest, let it dry, and then I can start detailing and highlighting. Okay, next a little bit of matte white and start some eyes. And many of the models do have goggles, their goggles over their eyes, but not all. So just carefully filling in the sclera. Get the rest, let that dry for a few minutes, and then I can uh, do the pupils and I uh, feel the little details. All right, matte black. Carefully dotting in a couple of pupils. And filling in the barrel of the gun. Apply that to the rest that need it. And then I can start highlighting. Alright, time to highlight. Golden Highlight 09093, switching to a dry brush technique. Paper towel, which you want on hand anyway. Ragged feather brush. Straight paint only, no water. Rub most of your paint out on the towel. Get this guy back into focus again. And lightly dust the area to be affected, going against any raised areas, like the knuckles, the cheeks, and the bridge of the nose here. And apply that to the rest. Okay, next, Misty Gray 09090. The normal unit leader is the only one who's got this color on him, so I don't need a whole lot. With me figuring out my lighting is uh, a, it's a balance between uh, lighting up a miniature and stopping myself from getting blinded. I'll get it figured out eventually. Eventually. Okay, there's a rock. And I need the brushes to be completely dry, so since I have several that are suitable, I am switching rather freely. Ash and Blue 09057. You always want to agitate your paint, shake them up. It helps you mix them. If your paint, uh, it's been a while since you've used a specific color, you can end up seeing the mixing medium separated from the pigment. So. And that is too much. I'll try to lighten some of that up. I don't know if it didn't work out too good, but in terms of lightening your pigment, or not pigment, in terms of refreshing paints that seem to dry out, a little bit of mixing medium or in a pinch water down the bottle and shake that up will help. Okay, get the denim on the rest of them and move on. Next. Pale Olive 09036. And I decided to highlight the uh, officer from the command attachment because you haven't really seen a whole lot of me painting his hat yet. 
let's do something a little bigger than that. For example, readily visible areas on highlighting. So, for example, I'm not going to do the underside here. Though I did shade it. And you can see here, I assume my camera's picking it up anyway. How it's catching on the raised areas and not the recesses. Making those folds look darker while it makes the crest, for lack of a better word, look brighter. And there's the tricorn. Maybe a little bit right here on this edge. And apply to the rest. Okay, next blonde highlight 09258. This one's face is either miss sculpted or there's some flash on it I missed. I'm not sure which, but it looks a bit off. Oh well. I'm just gonna worry about the hair. Okay, apply the rest of the blondes, then move on. Okay, next, brown hair and stocks with Driftwood Brown 09162. Well, at least I'm not dropping hundreds of frames on this video, but I'm still trying to overcome these focus issues. Okay, apply to the rest and uh, I'm rapidly closing in on this. And it went full forward on me again. Good break. Alright, next Ultramarine Highlight 09189. For some reason, I'm not certain why, the standard bearer here with brown hair reminds me of. Uh, Burt Ward from the 1960s Batman when he played uh, Robin. I, I'm not sure why. Find it kind of funny though. Get the armor. That was going to be the banner. Trying not to hit the Cygnus if I can help it, but it will be done over in gold when I get to that color in a little bit here. This can take a bit of work to get it right, but effort's worth it when you get these nice lines on your model. Okay, apply to the rest. Okay, now recording, all right. Can't tell anymore. Burnt Worm, 09111. Gonna get the leather next. I hope I 
got enough to do the job. All right, that might be it. Again, I can't uh, buy many of these paints locally right now. At all, in general, actually. And everything's shut down, so even getting a substitute's not possible right this minute. Just a bit across the front of the goggles. And then... Pouches. The boots. Maybe I should have used a bigger brush for this. Oh well. And the scabbard. Got a little too much paint. Let's try to rub that off, some of that off. Okay. Get that on the rest of the squad, and that's just going to leave the gold and the steel, and I can start in the base. Okay. True Silver 09207. Size brush on this. And it's going over the uh, metal on the rifles and the sword hilts. And we're not going to do the uh, goggles. I'll just leave the gold. Okay, last highlight, new gold, 09051. Just need to get a grip on a decent brush for it. Scabbards, sicknesses, and of course the gold on that banner. Okay, apply to the rest, and I can start the base. Oh. If I only got this thing to focus more reliably, it's gotta be a way. I have to find a way. Okay, time to start on the front arcs, ultramarine blue. I'm just using a fashion specific color to mark this, but. War Machine relies on the front 180 degrees being marked to determine the firing arcs, line of sight, etc. So, I'm going to use a flat got my paint. Now, grabbing a flat head brush. Got to find my favorite. There it is. Using the same amount of water as a base coat. And I'm going to deliberately overextend it right now. Get a nice solid coverage and then refine it later. Okay, so there's a start. Apply that to the rest and let it dry completely. 
and I can tidy it up. Okay, marking the base, and here's where it gets really awkward. There's no way around it though, so this is a matte black, and this is a self-healing cutting mat that Privateer Press puts out. It's got the basing uh, arcs marked on it. The 30, 40, and 50 millimeter bases that are most common. So I'm facing the model the way I want. And I'm taking a detail brush. I need a little more than that. Just carefully marking the edges here where those lines bisect it. Then I'm going to carefully just go all the way to the top. I need to apply that to the rest before I wrap it up, so uh, back in a minute. Yeah, this is going to be awkward no matter how I do it. All right. All the models are now marked, so I'm switching back to the flat head and just taking that same matte black, just tidying up. Being careful where the feet come close to the edge of the base. Okay, apply to the rest when this is all completely dry. Can mark a few models in white and start flocking. Still have an outfits problem. Okay, before I add the basing, I need to mark a few models. In that white, just a little bit. So this is my second unit of long gunners or long gunner infantry. I'll take a uh, brush in one and just put a Roman numeral two on the back of the officer. I can just write it number two on the card and keep track that way of which card is tracking which unit's damage. And then for the leader model, just to make it perfectly clear, because it does matter, I'm just going to put an L on the back of his base to designate that. And this is more for jerky players. That's for a temper tantrum. About every little detail, giving them as few excuses as possible for saying the leader model is vague. He's the only guy standing on a rock, but I, I've met some bad players before. So, okay, now I'm going to mix up my solution of glue. Just a convenient container for mixing in. My glue bottle's jammed. Okay, white glue and water. I'm gonna need to be generous on both. that all up there. There's a little too much dust though. I'm dripping the stuff all over. Let's get it out of the way for a minute. Get my basic material out, which is flock with a little bit of static grass mixed into it and shake them up. And I'm going to start on a 
model I haven't marked in white yet, which don't need to, and just carefully paint around the feet. So because War Machine Infantry only have one wound for the most part, I don't need to mark anything other than the leader model. And again, that's just there are certain people I have played with before that are pretty jerky about things. So like every little thing. They expect forgiveness for their mistakes in game, but won't give any as an example, which is just bad sportsmanship. Especially in a casual game. And we'll just give it a dip in the flock. Put that off to the side there. I'm using a spare brush that's dry. I'm going to push the excess away from where I don't want it, but it looks like I don't have to do that here because I lucked out. So that's going to have to sit for 20 to 30 minutes before I seal it. So uh, hit up the rest and uh, back in a minute. All right, final step Scenic Smoke. This is a Woodland Scenics product. And glass eyedropper. This stuff will bond to plastic quickly, but this will seal your flock into the base and give it a rock hard finish. The only thing left to do beyond this is going to be spraying it down with a varnish once this. Uh, Sets a bit. And apply the rest, and that is it. Long gunner infantry with unit attachment, or command attachment, excuse me. This is the last of the Signor models I have in my queue. But got some mercenaries coming out next. Till then, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.